Hey everyone, this is Greeny22 here, and today I am going to be talking about banned games. And you may think, how the hell is this relevant? Well, it is pretty damn relevant, and I will tell you in this video. Because, if you don't know, in Australia we have a very strict Australia classification board for gaming. And two games that are being banned in the last couple of months, actually, are State of Decay, which is an Xbox Live game, which is exclusive arcade, and then there was also Saints Row 4. Both of these games are pretty big in their own right. And one of the main big reasons in Australia for banning a game is because of drugs. If you don't know, one of the fallouts was actually banned in Australia for a bit. And this was because it used morphine or something. And State of Decay, it used painkillers. So, as you can tell, drugs are very... They're a very big part of ban banning games in Australia. And this worries me a bit because in GTA 5, in the gameplay trailer, we saw one of our new characters coming out of a medical, medical marijuana place. So does this mean, and I hope to God, I hope this is not what it means, but does this mean the Australian Classification Board is going to ban GTA 5? I really hope this is not true, because if it is, then shit's going to hit the fan. That's all I'm going to say, because Grand Theft Auto has a massive reception in Australia. And if it, a game such a big, this game is massive, it's been hyped up ever since last year. And if this at the last minute were to be banned in Australia, there would be a lot of uprising. I'll tell you that right now. So, I really hope this doesn't happen, and if it does, screw you, Australia Classification Board, and thank you for watching this video, and if you like more, and if you want more content, feel free to rate, like, comment, or subscribe, and I don't know why I keep putting this ending on, because it's just generic, so thank you for watching.